Well, good morning. I'm here to do another Relax and Paint. Um, I have loved different watercolor effects. And today I'm just doing a fun, uh, trying to make this watercolor flower like a little Christmassy with some reds in it. And let's get started. I want to try something with you and see what you think about it. So please let me know if you like it. Please let me know. Um, how your season's going. I have to tell you, we had a great Thanksgiving with 30, mostly family and a few friends and my painting buddies, and it was nice to have them there. So I'm um, thrilled to be here again today after the holiday of Thanksgiving. And I don't know when you're watching this, but um, I'm getting ready for Christmas. I, I put up my trees and I'm all excited to go. So let's get started this morning. And um, I have put out some bright colors for us. We're using multi-surface colors. There we go. Multi-surface colors and um, they're bright. You see, you can put any bright if you want purples or all blues or you can do anything you want. I put out some metallic um aqua by accident and I really wanted regular aqua and I love the idea of watercolor effects but I'm not a watercolor artist as you probably know if you've been following me at all but I thought this is my way of getting that look really quick and easy I want to put a center with pencil okay and then I'm going to kind of sketch where I want my petals to be and I'm going to be a little bit darker so you guys can see this is just Bristol board. It's a Bristol board pad and um, it's just real simple, uh, smooth surface. And this um, is a hundred pound, just to let you know. Um, and that's at most of your art supply stores. Okay, and online. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do some shades of a petal flower and we can do some long leaves here uh, you don't have to draw them all but i'm just gonna put some in here all right so like i'm gonna go a little bit closer so you can see um and lots of times artists watercolor artists will have this pencil showing even when I've gone to art shows and looked at them, I'm thinking, why didn't they erase their pencil? But it's kind of part of the art from what I understand from them. Okay, so I have a water bottle and I am going to spritz it just a little bit. You want to get one. I tested this first. Come on. I want to, yeah, spritz, not a straight shoot. So it's just, yeah, so you see, it's kind of wet. Not every spot didn't get wet, and that's fine, okay? And then sometimes I spritz it later. But, you know, actually, I tell people to tape this down. But if you if you want to, it helps it uh, from bowing up. But we're going to just be doing it pretty quick and fun. So we're going to have our three-quarter, maybe our 16. And you notice I didn't pull out white. I put some green colors, some red colors. So then this is what I'm going to share with you first. I am going to, oop, 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 oop. I'm going to pull out some floating medium. And that's the one thing I didn't pull out. Sorry. How can I not pull out floating medium? I always got floating medium around. All right. This is the folk art floating medium. These are multi-surface colors I've got out here. And that's the fluff that's inside the paint that makes it fluffy. And the rest of the paint I'm using, just to let you see, is multi-surface colors. The folk art multi-surface. This bottle is almost empty, but uh, some of the new bottles. Here's a new bottle. This is the look of the label that you might see now. Okay. And all that's on onestroke.com on my website. Okay. And lots of other brushes and tools. I'm using my one-stroke um, green everyday brushes. 
I also have signature brushes. So I'm gonna pick up just a teeny bit of orange and I'm just gonna put a little bit with a lot of floating medium. Floating medium touches of orange and I'm going for a watercolor effect, but I really am using my acrylic paint. Okay. I've been playing around with some watercolor colors that people or companies have been sending me. So I'm going to be doing another one of those soon just to tweak your interest a little bit. And then I put some orange here. So see, I'm always kind of looking for a triangle of some kind for design. I hope you're having a good morning today or are you relaxing this morning? I kind of relax more today. <laughs> like we got through the holiday of Thanksgiving and looking a little bit towards Christmas now, planning, getting the family all together again. And different family can be here for one holiday over another with seven children. I have to share with their in-laws. Mm. Sometimes that makes me sad, <laughs> but I'm happy that they have um, family to go to. All right, more medium. Now here's some red. So I could take some red around here. And to make this um, look a little bit more Christmassy, you can choose to put a different kind of greenery than what I, I put here. All right, so... I'm going to put some medium in here, move it into the orange. Okay. And let's get medium and just pick it up on the edge. See that? You can just do that. And then there's some water at the edge. So it's going to make it bleed a little bit, which gives you a nice look. There. And I can also. See that? I tap, 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 and pull some depth up from there. So medium, red. Now, you see that I've already, this is apple red, that we also still have water there. If you want to add more water, that's good, too. Okay, I'm going to pick up some June berry to get some darkness in here. All right, so I can come in here with the June berry and make that look like it's rolled a little bit. Back to my red. Okay, so see, I leave white in there. It's important. Are y'all liking that color? A little bit more red out here. Boy, that paper crystal board really sucked up the, the paint, I mean the water. Okay, now these in front, like I'm going to come right in here. See, made the center. So these in front, I'm going to pick up a little bit more darkness on the edge with the red, that's Juneberry and Apple Red. Okay, if you're watching this, remember, go back and watch it again and freeze it until you get each petal done with me and then start it again and see how I pick up more paint to do the next part, okay? Now I'm going to pick up some orange and red in here and make this one just, let's see even get some Juneberry in there. Let's make this one kind of a rich, darker look. See how it's blurring out? I like that. Okay. And then a little bit more floating medium. We're going to put a little bit in here. There we go. All right, so we can take and add a little bit of water to this. All right, a little bit of water in here. 
All right, there we go. All right. Okay, so I can put a little bit of that June berry in here. Along, I put it really pretty wet on this brush. Okay, so I'm just putting little bits. All right, and then over here, I'm going to do kind of like a bud. Now, you could make this easily into a poinsettia. I am going to, I, I put just a little petals, but I think I'm going to, um, make a little bit of pine needles and all too. But look, see, it starts bubbling up the paper, but when that dries, it shrinks back down. But that's what it looks like if you put grains of salt on here while we're doing this. All right, so I'm gonna spritz a little bit down. All right, I gotta get this misting. Okay. All right, now I messed it up there a little bit, so it might change that look, all right, to be, a little bit more runny. All right, citrus. All right, and floating medium. So I'm going to come right up here. And a little bit down here. All right, now let's pick up medium and aqua, floating medium and aqua. So you got a lot of water there. So we're going to come up here and I can take the corner of this brush and put some aqua A little bit in here, just a little bit, and a little bit of sap. Sap and aqua still in the brush. Okay, a little bit down here. I hope you guys are having a good time with this. See, it's just going to continue to run and give fun little looks as we go here. So let's pick up some cobalt. I got a ton of cobalt because the first bottle was super dry. I'm going to wipe that off and get more medium. And um, go right across here in the water here. I need more medium. Or we could just grab water. All right. Okay, a little bit more citrus. Okay, so basically, basically this is how I could leave it for an everyday piece. And when you sign these, you kind of sign it with a pencil. Okay. 
All right, and that could be your piece. I put it on the white background. That was kind of good with white. Um, you could take and use. You could make things run. The the one thing I can tell you though, that's good and bad, is that the thing is is uh, with acrylic paint it dries and doesn't keep running. So. Some people say that's really good. I'll let some of this run. Run off of here. That's pretty dry up there, but maybe this glue would run. See, it gives you a whole different cool look. I just want to do something fun with you today, telling you, showing you that you can use any colors to make this fun, All right? And now I could even take and put evergreen in here. And if I wanted to, some sap and citrus with a bunch of medium. And you can make those leaves more of a holly leaf. I like to just having an everyday flower. But so you draw whatever flower. I'd love to see you on my Facebook group. Uh, the Donna Dewberry. So it's Donna Dewberry's with an S. Official one stroke group is the Facebook group. And so I would love for you to create your own look with this technique I've just showed you and um, share it with us, okay? Wouldn't that be fun? All right, so here we go. Create whatever holiday you want or everyday flower and share with me or us. We'd love to have you come on and share with us. So... I can then come back in here and put a little bit more detail. I've got red and Juneberry. See how it just, the more I do, the richer it gets. All right, or you could quit at any point. Sometimes I overdo. This is more straight paint, no medium. So see, I can grab the aqua here. And then I make it richer. Now this look, believe it or not, is fabulous on shirts. And I just did that on my uh, One Stroke Advantage group. Please go check out One Stroke Advantage when you get a chance. Come join me, even if you join me for $9.95 for a month and get four lessons and see if you feel like it's worth. All the lessons are recorded and you can watch over and over. Or you can also binge and watch over 100 lessons. Okay, sound good? All right, I'll see you a little bit later. You guys paint and enjoy and have a great day. And come back and see me on Friday. We're going to work a little bit more on loading. Okay. Also, if you are a member here, I don't know when you're watching this, but December 14th, let me make sure that's right. December 14th, right here on YouTube, will be a live. And what I'm doing on that day, it is the 14th at 8 p.m., we're going to have a live Christmas PJ party with gifts and uh, I mean, door, um, door, door prices cut, um, giveaways and more. The paint company is going to be supporting. We want to see how many of you can get on. So it's right here. I'll have the live, put it on your calendar, 8 p.m. on December 14th. We're going to be painting ornaments the whole night. Okay. Just for a couple of hours, we're going to be painting ornaments and having a great time. So get your PJs on and come join me. All right. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.